Uh, hi, in this video I'm going to show you new Octave Polyphonic feature introduced in BlueArp version 2.16. Here I have BlueArp itself connected to Synth 1. Its initial patch I start with. First let's create a pattern, reduce number of steps to 8, uh, set each step to chord. Now let's mute each even step and uh, damp down the velocity for each odd step. So pattern is ready. Hear how it sounds with a kick. And now let's go to octave. Octave as it was up to version 2.15 allows to transpose uh, each individual step uh, for example minus one and as you see transposition works only for key one in a chord I press A4 plus E5 and at the output I get A3 instead of E4 because minus one octave if I go minus two octaves, I get a two. It's uh, I find it sonically more useful than just to transpose the whole chord. Uh, but with this new feature, uh, let's turn it on. You see this mark lights up, showing that now my octave uh, value bar is in polyphonic mode, and I can add extra transpositions. In this case, for example, uh, I have key 1 multiplied by 3, key 1 itself, key 1 minus 1 octave, and key 1 minus 2 octaves, and as a result I get a huge chord like this. Again, no octave transposition, minus 1 octave. minus 1 and minus 2. I can also get positive transpositions to another steps. So the final result. And listen how it works with a kick. click this uh, mark uh, again it will revert back to monophonic mode so no undo here be careful and I can click it again and repeat this uh, this configuration it's pretty simple and now again this is kind of best what I can do with monophonic octave transpose and a two key chord. Not bad, I can add extra keys by just playing them. But with polyphonic transpose, having just two keys pressed, I get this white, uh, this white chord.